My wife wants a divorce. We have little kids, so I might as well move out of the house. Right? Wrong. First, filing for divorce or getting ready to file for divorce does not mandate that one of you must move out of the house immediately. Some people think that. It's not true. And while moving out may look appealing to you for many sensible reasons, it can have many dire, unforeseen, unanticipated consequences, as I will discuss later. Second, while it may be time for you to move out, or the time may come when you should move out, or even need to move out, it's usually one of the worst things a husband and father can do, that is to move out of the house voluntarily as part of one's divorce preparations. Doing so can send the wrong messages, messages you may not even realize you could be sending, or be perceived as sending. And even though this post is entitled, my wife wants a divorce, I might as well move out of the house, there are plenty of wives and mothers who often find themselves in the same position of wondering whether they should move out as one of the first steps of preparing for divorce. Why is voluntarily moving out of the house usually such a bad idea? Well, there are many reasons why. If you're renting your marital home or paying a mortgage for it, then unless you have somewhere to stay for free when you move out, you will incur the additional expense of renting a separate residence. Divorce is already a financial strain without having to find a way for the marital income to cover two separate residences. If you earn more money than your spouse does, or if your spouse doesn't earn enough money to pay you much, if any alimony or temporary spousal support, then you may be unable to afford anything but the humblest cramped studio apartment. You may have to move far away from the marital home and your workplace and the children's schools to find affordable housing. Your children may hate coming to stay with you there. Your kids may hate your apartment and either refuse to spend time with you there or prefer to spend as little time with you there as possible. They may resent the fact that your apartment is too far away from their friends and from their favorite places. This can lead to courts permanently ordering that it's in the best interest of the children that they spend minimal time with you. Speaking of your kids, if you move out, your spouse might try to twist that and use it against you in the fight over child custody. They can argue that you having moved out is proof that you are selfishly and self-indulgently trying to get away from your spouse, kids, and family to be free of your responsibilities to them. Your spouse could claim that he or she bravely stayed behind to provide all the love and care and support the children need, but that you refuse to provide any more. Your spouse can argue that because you voluntarily moved out of the marital home, well then, I should get to keep the house. If you want to keep the house in the divorce, moving out, even if for the most noble and self-sacrificing of reasons, such as for the sake of trying to keep the peace, that tends to indicate otherwise. Bottom line, just because you will be getting divorced does not mean one of you must voluntarily move out of the house. Voluntarily moving out can be misconstrued by your spouse and by the court to your long-term detriment. Before you move out, if you are not ordered by the court to move out first, make sure there is either a written agreement, written by an attorney, don't try to do this yourself, between you and your spouse for you to move and ensure that the reasons why you are the one moving out are clear and make clear that there are no other reasons why you are the one moving out make clear that you moving out means and what it does not mean. Get the record straight.